Andy, thanks very much for joining us. How proud are you of that performance tonight? Um, immensely. I'm, I'm getting proud of every, every day, it seems. And the effort and, and, and the commitment to the course tonight was, was incredible um, against a team who are on an unbelievable run of form. Um, we've, we've caused teams real problems here. And I've got a style which they're, they're really good at, but I thought we nullified that to... I can't remember Stoney having to make a, a pro, world class as a proper save, I've got to be honest. So, from the front... Um, guys putting pressure on the ball high up the pitch to our, our midfield players winning second balls and I thought the three centre backs were immense tonight I've got to be honest against again, Smith he's got obvious obvious qualities but I thought we nullified that to, to a, a real good level and we, we produced the moments in the first half uh, without taking advantage and we just spoke at our side about continue to do the work without the ball but showing a little bit more composure in the final third and for me there's only one team who's going to go and win the game it was going to go 1-0 I thought I hope we've nicked it thank God Yeah and the goal when it came about an unlikely source I know you've spoken before about goals from all areas of your team Harry Charlesley pops up with his first goal for you Yeah he's just sitting there about time so yeah really good comp compost finished um, came from us recycling the throw and, and, and trying to play our way uh, and imposing our style on them, which we try to do. Now we've we got numbers in the box. We, we changed things slightly in the second half to play with, with one six and two eights uh, to try and get more men in the box. And, and we, we came here to win. That has been the message since, since yesterday morning that we, we, we weren't coming here to, to draw. Uh, we were coming here to, to get three points, and we were going to be positive and, and try and, and force the game. Which is what we did. They didn't put you under too much pressure in the second half, but when they did, a couple of shots came in, and Aidan Stones come up with two stunning saves, hasn't he? I can't remember the saves, I've got to be honest. <laughs> Did he? I'll there was one deflected that he yes, tipped yes, from under the crossbar the bar, and then yeah. right at the death there and door, yeah. but again, shot just got his hand yeah, ahead of yeah, the yeah, I, I think, yeah, a couple of, a couple of moments from Stoney where he's got a, a vital touch and I think there were some blocks as well, the free kick where we've taken it right in the mush, I think, for, for Mal. So, yeah, incredible qualities from us. Um, so it's been a, a good good three or four days, but now we're already, we've just spoken there about making sure um, we, we prepare and recover well now for Oldham uh, and can we capitalise with, with, with a home game and make it a, a nine point week What's going to be the difference between now and the end of the season to push you over that finishing line do you think is it all about mental strength and rest and recuperation all that kind of thing Well I think fundamentally we've got to make sure we enjoy it um, we, we're at 40, 40 games we've got a certain number of points we have to keep our foot on the gas we have to enjoy the moment we have to show all the qualities we show every single game um, in terms of our, our spirit and our togetherness and, and our work rate for each other and we need to continue to do the same things uh, and, the, and the table will take care of itself. Have you ever known a team like this that's got so much passion and commitment and spirit, all them kind of words? They're a pleasure to work with and they've been a, a pleasure to work with. I've got to be honest, since we came back for pre-season for pre after, after a week or two, I mean, the gaffer spoke and just said that this, this group is, is close already and the amount of bodies we brought in in the summer Sometimes it takes time to gel, but th th those boys gel straight away, and th that's credit to every single one of them. The, the lads have been at the club for a number of years, the senior boys, um, and the ones who came in. Now that they, they formed a friendship and a togetherness straight away, and I think that transmits onto the pitch. That's another game ticked off. We're getting closer now, aren't we? Yeah, um, 40 played. Hold them next. How much are you looking forward to that then on Saturday? Absolutely, it's the next challenge, isn't it? And I went to watch Oldham last week against Leighton Orient. Deservedly won the game 2-0. Um, and it poses different problems to what we had tonight. But now it's about focusing on our recovery. And, and then we'll start our preparations um, when we come back into work. Totally different type of game to what you've had before because they're battling for their lives, aren't they, at the foot of the table? As Barrow were. As Barrow were. And Barrow imposed their, themselves on, on us in the first half on Saturday. And we, we spoke again pre-game tonight about it couldn't take us 45 minutes to get started tonight like it did last last weekend. So, yeah, we, we got out of the traps well. Um, and as you say, Oldham are fighting for their lives. Um, so they, they're going to pose a problem to us. But it's about us and what, and what can we do. Quick word about your squad. Dan Jones back on the bench tonight. Pleasing to have him fit. How's James Gibbons doing as well? <clears throat> yeah, great to have Jonesy back. Um, he, he's been doing rehab now for a couple of weeks. Um, is he ready to play a nine-minute game? Absolutely not. But you've seen, you've seen the, the makeup of the bench over the last few weeks. It's been very forward orientated, let's say. So it's good to have him back. Um, it was good to have Jake back on Saturday. He adds, adds competition to places. Gibbo's getting closer, um, as is Lucas, uh, and as is Chris Hussey. So yeah, we've, the, the more competition we've got, the better. But you can see that the lads who weren't on the pitch tonight, they're all here, they're all cheering on, they're all trying to do something, they're all trying to be a good teammate and encourage each other. And whilst we've got that, 
we're heading in the right direction. And finally, I just can't let you go without a word about the supporters. Sold out of tickets for Hartlepool away, sold out of tickets for Walsall. Yeah. Just immense, isn't it? Absolutely. Again, we, we spoke pre-game about it, it was more like a home game, I've got to be honest, with the, with the crowd. We had an, our crowd being behind a goal um, and we had to use the energy that they would transmit to us. We had to, we had to energise them um, and we had a couple of close moments first half, but it was great to score in front of them uh, in the second half. And you said, no, they're, they're right, right behind us. They can see the effort and the commitment and what the, the players are, are giving to, to each other and to the fans and to the club. Um, and whilst that's there, we, we need them on Saturday. Uh, I thought they created a, a, a really good atmosphere uh, in, in the last home game. Uh, against Sutton, uh, and we need we need a little bit more. We, we're trying to improve our performances. I hope that the fans can improve their performance slightly on Saturday and, and create even more noise and and create a, an atmosphere which is is good for us and not so good for Oldham.